This year's ID Dunedin Fashion Week concluded with the second night of the runway show at the city's iconic railway station. A veteran of Auckland Fashion Week, fashion blogger Rebecca Layden came to ID for the first time and says it compares well on the international stage. It was my first ever ID, so I've done, um, yeah, so I really wanted to come down this year. I've done um, New Zealand Fashion Week about four, four times now. Um, and I've done, I've actually done um, a few internationals like uh, New York Fashion Week and uh, Melbourne Fashion Festival. They all have different names, but they're the same thing. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, ID was right up there. The event's been running for more than 15 years, and Leyden says the city's own style is brilliantly displayed among some top international couture. It is really cutting edge. Um, I think, well, the reason why I wanted to come is Dunedin is has always been such a hub of fashion and style and design and we've just got huge talent coming out of it like you know, like Nom D, um, just yes, yeah, so many, um, I think Company of Strangers, are they from here as well? They were a big one at ID so this year so I think they were from here. Um, but yeah like um, Dunedin's always had like this real Dunedin look so it was quite cool um, yeah, it was quite cool seeing that firsthand, I guess. However, like for many others, she says last week's Emerging Designers Awards were a very colourful highlight. One thing I found really interesting was the first night, which was the Emerging Designer Awards. They were just so colourful and experimental, and I thought that was really cool. Being an independent fashion blogger, Rebecca Layden funds her own travel to shows and is always thankful to sponsors, who she thanks on her social media channels. She's the editor-in-chief of Sans Periel blog, which has accounts on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, as well as its own SansPerielOnline.com page, which currently features her experiences of ID Dunedin Fashion Week. Daryl Bazer, The South Today.